Lost Thinking Game. Yes. Hi, I'm Nikki Makatini and welcome to the show that brings you front row seats to the type of conversations that men and women have in their private spaces and today we're talking about sex. Now, general talk will have you believe that as women, when it comes to matters between the sheets, we wait on him to make the decision, we wait on him to take the lead. It's 2015, baby. We don't. We're confident, liberated, 24-hour decision makers and surely, if I can decide what I'm having for breakfast, I can decide to have the D for dinner. This is straight to the point. I'm never alone, of course. With me are these gorgeous ladies. I decided today to bring through an expert who's going to give us some expert opinion when it comes to this topic. And just as a form of feminine ammo for us. Mm -hmm. Now with us is Jade Zwane, who's a sex coach. So Jade, we're really going to need your opinion today because ladies, this topic is hot. terms of initiating sex would you initiate I think sex? women should have sex when they want to have sex not yeah. when a man wants to have yeah. sex if I want something I'm gonna go get it so you're the type of girl that just goes straight you to know the guy what honestly I've never initiated it but I tell you drink triple C double egg single you will get the right dosage <laughs> to have the liberty to go ahead why wouldn't you do it sober sweetie I'm not about that life mm -mm. <laughs> so you would you would Yes, I would do it when I'm sober. Is that your thing though? Would you approach a guy? I would wait. I would wait. Do you wait? You yes. wouldn't approach a guy? Nah. nah. You I need tell to, me you believe her. I need to bring Jade in this one. Ah. Jade, is it true though that it, it, men are the ones that primarily approach women? All these ladies are actually representative of what's out there. Traditionally, men do initiate sex. Yeah. Um, but that's because they have the capacity to take satisfaction for themselves and mm -hmm. have sex with pleasure. Mm -hmm. But women are finding their voice mm -hmm. as they embrace their sexuality I like that. and I like that. Um, learn to have sex with pleasure. I like that. So more and more women are asking yeah. for sex. What about the influence of books like Fifty Shades of Grey? Is it having an impact in any way? Of course, it yeah. does have some Yeah, yeah. But now, guys, this is the question I want to know. Yeah. Like, when it comes to casual sex, do you normally approach or stick to guys that you're familiar with, like friends with benefits, or do you go for exes, or do you prefer someone who's completely foreign to you? That's tricky, you know. If you say you want to go for a friend, yeah, you risk losing a friend. Yes. If you want to go for someone you don't know, yes, you risk so like a hole. A hole. Yeah. Yeah. And if you go for an ex, you like saying. You I had you me, back. still have me. That's the thing. And yes. sometimes you just want to have it all with yes. your ex. It's all or nothing, yes. you know. But so then it comes back to this thing about feelings. Because guys are always exactly saying that feelings. women are emotional and we, we, we don't know how to detach with just sex and, 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 and emotion. I'll speak for myself. Yes. So you, sex you, is an intimate thing here. Hello. Yeah, if yeah. I have sex with you, there must be feelings attached. I want more, especially if you're good in bed. And oh, yeah. It's good in bed or not. I think people stick to what they know. Yeah. There are a lot of friends with benefits happening, situ mm -hmm. situations happening, mm -hmm. um, and no strings attached sex is very appealing yeah. to mm -hmm. not just men but women as well. But now this emotional connection that happens, is it only one sided? Is it only about us or guys feel it too? No, men feel it too. They okay. Do. Good. I, I like babies. that point. I like that they point. They do feel it. For me, mm -hmm. if I'm to speak regarding that, mm -hmm. fine. If I've gone to bed with a man mm -hmm. and before I would even take a further step to go into your room with you, I must have been attracted to you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Number one. Yeah. And then when we get there, if he's good, fine, I would want more. Have you seen how guys, uh, when they have casual sex, he will give you the worst sex. Whereas men will have sex just for the physical gratification. Enjoyment. Mm. Sex is sex, love is love. Let's not just miss So it. you won't, so for you, when you have, uh, when you make love to someone, that's not your way of showing them that you love them? No. What? I think there are less lies now. Good. <laughs> Excuse me. That would be no, good. Are, because women, <laughs> women also want sex just for the physical gratification. Ladies. You know what I don't understand with men, ne? Mm. Okay, fine. It's all about sex, mm -hmm. no feelings, nothing. Mm -hmm. One, one minute you, you cuddling me, mm -hmm. you play with me, we play pillow fight in the morning, you make me breakfast. How is a woman not supposed to catch feelings? Okay. You bring in the sex when I want to love you, but now just want to have a little bit of, you know. Does size really matter? Yes, child. Size does yes, matter. Yes, And shame, size is sick. It's not his fault, he's mm. got a small penis. I will that. not marry you if you are not satisfying in the most important part no. for me to stay faithful to you because 
I promise I'm going to cheat on you. Does satisfaction I equal to size? Hmm? For me, yes. What am I going to do with a micro situation like okay. no? Yes. Micro. No. Need to bring no. in the expert. Jade? We need your expertise here, please. These ladies are disagreeing. What, do, what, what where do you stand? Well, it does matter. Mm -hmm. but Thank you. I don't think as much as enthusiasm does. Yes. Oh wow. So yeah. You need to know what you're doing yes. and what the other person's needs are and try mm -hmm. to meet them. When it comes to condoms, do you communicate to your partners? Listen, I. I'm not having sex with you without a condom, or do you just go with the flow? We women are very weak in that department, I won't lie. Mm. I feel like men just have sex without a condom with everyone. The guy has an excuse not to wear a condom. Mm. I'll wear the condom. Female condoms, how available are those? I mean, it's they 2015 again. But not as easily accessible as male condoms, for instance, which you'll find in a service station. Mm. Yes, yeah, very unfair. If, mm. if you've just come from somewhere and are going home. Mm. So um, you'd need to purchase them probably from pharmacies and maybe find them at a clinic. When you're with a new partner, when in the relationship would you just say, listen, I'm not comfortable with not knowing what your status is or your your your, your hmm. sexual history. We don't ask them. Mm -hmm. And I really wish people could take the step off like whenever you meet someone, mm -hmm. you just know their status. Mm -hmm. And these days, I can mm -hmm. actually fraud a document saying that I am not. You see, now no one is why we are going to do this together. together. You, you want to feel You want to oh. You want to hit it raw? Yeah. We are going to go raw to together. Right, okay. Jade, we need to bring it in on this one. Are you finding that women are being outspoken with their potential sexual partners and saying, listen, I need to know what your status is or I need to know what your sexual history is, especially when it comes to issues around health. I don't feel that enough women are engaging in the conversation yeah. that's necessary to establish someone's sexual history. Mm. I think this is for fear of being left mm. and just other possible outcomes. Yeah. If you finally go and test with your partner, you know the problem is not your partner. After testing, your partner can't be sleeping with someone else. Mm. True. The problem now, it's not your partner, it's who your partner is sleeping with. That he is has true. tested once, he's not going to do it twice. Do you know that? We're getting some cheats here at Hot L says, um, I must be the only woman who never wants to cuddle after a good shag. So there's someone that actually agrees with you, can you? Yeah. At KMG1 says, my best F buddies are my exes. Awesome. An interesting one. At Mabato says, one of the lamest excuses she's had for a guy who hasn't, who didn't want to wear a condom is that you can't get pregnant if you're on top. I wonder what the guys are going to have to say after this. Yeah. I doubt they have any ammo. Yeah, Jade, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for your expertise as well. Straight after the break, we'll come back with a feature that is called On The Grow, where you get a chance to tweet in the name of the guy that you'd like for us to grow when it comes towards the end of the show. Remember, the details are all at the bottom of the screen and it's hashtag STTP grow and the name of the guy that you'd like for us to grow. After the break, we find out what the guys have to say, if we must. My phone was snack, man. Give it a snack. As much as size matters, uh -huh. nah, bo, they are cake matters. Welcome back, you're watching Straight to the Point. My name is Nikki Makatini and we've just heard the guys and all the ridiculous points they've had to make about women and sex. Yes. And of course the ladies are not impressed, one slightest bit. And the game hasn't stopped. These guys are ridiculous. They're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So bad. They talk something about um, drinking the whole um, process, how women take long yes. to, to reach an to orgasm. Reach, to reach yeah. an yeah. orgasm. Clearly, yeah. you're not yeah. doing a good job. Yeah. 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 If you're doing a good job, I, I, it shouldn't even take more than five seconds for me to get to an orgasm. You know what, dude? The, the main thing that was running job. through my mind it's was that simple. if you're going to fake foreplay, you sure as hell are going to get a fake orgasm. I'm sorry. Exactly. Well, Never expect mind. It. What if expect you don't know how to use those I... very same hands that expect you are it. so sure what you are mm. using? Why? Yeah. Because some ratchet chick that you picked up at a club, mm. or not even a club, at Harvard, told you, <laughs> yo, yo, when the Uncle Skittles, you are taking it, you, you are hitting it right. What now. about the point that Mutus made about we are snake? What does he mean by we are snake? Oh, yes. And when men complain so much about their sizes, it means they are small. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. that says a lot have, about all. No, oh. Actually, I would like to be on the opposite side with that. Okay, let's yes. hear it. I would honestly just like to base it on 
it's a it's a male ego kind of a situation. Mm. Not necessarily that they're small. It's just that thing they don't want to be told about mm. their sizes. How do you address an issue with a guy or guys like that when they're lacking? When you hold it, make him make him aware of what's Uban Biganga. He's not here. Uban Biganga. So how are you gonna blame my wall? No, let me tell you something. If I'm not if I'm not gagging on it, it ain't it. That's it. That's it. But you know what? You can save that comment. Send us all the names that you think you would have liked to have the person uh sitting on the hot seat as the girl. It's actually one name in particular, and that is. The moment of truth is finally here. Welcome, fancy seeing you here. Mm -hmm. You had a mouthful to say when you were with the guys. Askus wege, ndabazok sneka. Hey? Oh, vuna kuni mad. Sifun blessing, ngala kano blessing akatse. Oh, fortune teller. You seem to be very self-confident about yourself. Mm. On a scale of one to ten, do you want to tell us the size of your dick? <laughs> uh. What cat got your tongue? He looks with the boys. You have a bag of skills. The way he just chew you up and spit you out. How long are you last in bed? Two seconds. You can see. Seems like it's like a two minute noodle. Okay. My question here to Matsumi Do you take yourself as a man or a boy? How do we even know if you're circumcised? Can we see? your brothers if you could. Cakes. Go is yours. There's something about you that says childish. Oh gosh. And being childish is basic. Guys, the grill is not going well here at all. And Kenny Musubi, when he's away from the guys, he's vulnerable. The guys are not here. You don't have an answer for us, but we're going to have to wrap it up. I have one question for you. Cool. Just one. If you had to stop your ways and treat women with respect, what would it take away from you? Just in Jogusum Pasega, Tim Despazan, Gatlin. Because then the Bayakok Snake, I knees were at. Where are you looking? Maybe that's where the problem is. I need to slap him I with my so. titty. That's what I need. Fine, I'll, I'll take away my experience and I, it'll take a really, really special woman to, for me to change my ways, honestly. So you're willing to change? Yes. Well, so compromise. Maga better. Oh, well. Oh, great. Well, guys, it seems like we've come to the end of the show with a certain happy ending. Pun intended. Uh, we'll see you same time next week. And remember to catch us on social media at Straight to the Point or hashtag STTP Point Show. Same place, same time. The ladies are setting the challenge. As for Nugusaba Fanabas was Good night. Yeah, we're in a This is not the Yeah, this is your life. <laughs>